All right, so now we know what Disney has planned for their release schedule, sort of, with um, when it comes to Marvel. Um, this article doesn't go into Star Wars, but they want to release two, no more than three movies, and only two series. And I assume it's per franchise. So, Star Wars would only get two, and Marvel would only get two series. So, now the question is, well... This is, these are the movies that were slated to open in 25. We have Captain America, Brave New World, Thunderbolts, The Fantastic Four, and Blade. And then four more were slated for 2026, including the fifth Avengers movie. So, now the question is, what movies are going to air in 25 and what TV series because I assume that they're going to continue with what's happening this year you know what series were coming out this year are going to come out this year because I guess Bob Iger just wants to get those out of the way because they're going back to focusing on quality and not what the previous um, head of Disney wanted, which was to push out as much crap as possible. Because it was, oh, Marvel sells, so let's give them as much as is humanly possible so we can get people, we can get eyeballs. Ignoring the fact that if it's not a good product, you're not going to get those eyeballs. So, Bob Iger came back, and ironically, it was his hand-picked successor that did all the damage. So, yeah, if Bob's going to retire, he's going to have to do a better job at finding a successor. But anyway, um, I guess they're still going to show... Now it's, it seems they've changed the name again, and now it's Agatha, which I think it was at the very beginning. I think they're just cycling. At this point, we're not, I just don't think we're going to know the name of this show until it airs, because they keep going through all these different titles. So either they just don't want us to know the titles, so they're cycling through titles in the hopes that people get exasperated and just wait for the show to air. Or they ha they can't come figure out what title they want to use. and Or they just simply are hoping that, you know, once it airs, that they can quickly cycle through it and nobody will notice. Because they're just trying to forget that era of Marvel existed where they were forced to to push things out at increased pace and you know quality be damned because the previous head of Disney thought that Marvel sells so let's oversaturate to the point that Kevin Feige wasn't able to keep an eye on these projects and it went completely off the rails because whomever he designated to watch over these series just didn't do a good job. And he probably didn't have a lot of time to find someone because this happened all of a sudden. But anyway, um, so Agatha is apparently going to air a portion in the next year, so I don't know if that's going to qualify as as part of their two series, or if they're going to use that as a, well, that's just been grandfathered in because it's 2024, we're just trying to sweep all this under the rug and start afresh 
in 2025 with a specific series. So, I don't know. This article doesn't go much into TV series. Um, let's see. There was something else I wanted to go over. It did say here that, um, we're going, we're going to balance sequels with originals, specifically in animation. We had gone through a period where our original films and animation, both Disney and Pixar, were dominating. We're now swinging back a bit to lean on sequels. So, I guess that means that Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man and Eyes of Wakanda are safe then? But they were supposed to come out still this year, so maybe that's not even part of the discussion. But yeah, so I don't, I'm not quite sure what two series are going to make it in 25. Uh, let me see if I have what was supposed to air next year. And all I have is Daredevil Born Again. Everything is either TBA or um, I did hear, what was it? Oh, no, it was Daredevil Born Again that's going to be two seasons. So, yeah, I have no idea how they're going to what they're going to put out for in 25 for um for these series. I did see Ironheart is TBA and they keep pushing that series back, pushing it back, pushing it back. So God knows if and when we're going to get it, but it sounds like 2025 they're still like, okay, we're going to just, you know, air this all this stuff out so we can be done with it and just go back to focusing on good content. So that doesn't give me high hopes for what Ironheart looks like. Um, so yeah, there is that. But then there's a the question of, okay, what two, two to three movies are they going to show? Because I already listed four movies and then there's supposed to be four more in 26. So what's going to happen? So he for Marvel, Iger pointed to new movie Thunderbolts coming in 2025 alongside sequels Deadpool and Wolverine, which is actually this year, and Captain America Brave New World next year. It'll just be a balance, which we think is right, Iger said. So we know for a fact those two are still coming next year. So now the question is, what's going to happen with Blade and Fantastic Four? Um, are they going, because it sounds like they're going to start doing this new setup next year. So now the question is, okay, so is, are Fantastic Four and um, Blade being pushed back? And if that's the case, then what's happening with the 2026 movies? So, yeah, there's still questions as to what is going to air when. But at least we have a template of how they're going to release projects. And like I said, it's not just Marvel. This is Disney properties in particular. So, it includes Star Wars. So, maybe that's why they're um, pushing the Mandalorian and Grogu movie and there's no talk about the Mandalorian season 4 TV show. Probably because they're trying to figure out what to do with... We know that the Acolyte is, is airing later this year in June... Sometime at the end of the year, I believe it's going to be Skeleton Crew. And so then we have season two of um, 
and season three actually no season two of Andor, we have Ahsoka, so they probably, if there's going to be season four, they're pushing it back, not to next year, but to 26, so who knows, um, yeah, everything, it, it's clear how they're going to go about it, we just don't know what movies and TV shows are being impacted, exactly. We have some idea, but not complete. So anyway, um, that is all I have for this video. And with that, I will see you guys in the next one.